Hello. Hope you're doing all right. Thanks for listening to this. Uh, it's a little recap of my talk on Sunday about my favourite topic in the world, which is grace. From uh, John Newton to Stormzy, from Bono to Lewis Capaldi, everyone loves the topic of grace. And it's one of my favourites. So we chatted a bit about it on Sunday. Um, and I started by looking at Matthew 20, which you might want to have a look at in your groups as you as you chat through this stuff. And in that passage, I thought there were three. Of course, there were three. It was a sermon three different areas where grace broke it or there was an opportunity for people to encounter grace. And the first one was when the landowner goes to the marketplace and he encounters all of these people and says, what are you doing? And they say, no one's hired us. And there's a separation between the people and their purpose. In a year of furlough and layoffs and enforced redundancies and being stuck in the house for too long and being deprived of, of, the the nine to five routine for some of us then we have no what it's like to be separated from meaningful work and it's quite demoralizing and and i think there's something holy about work i think it's a good thing and it's in that moment that these guys experience grace when the landowner says look come and work for me and they're kind of that there's an opportunity despite their separation from their purpose to encounter to encounter grace and to quote from Tillich which I did on Sunday grace strikes us when we are in great pain and restlessness and maybe you feel a little bit like that I know someone it does strikes us when we walk through the dark valley of a meaningless and empty life when we feel our separation is deeper than you normal that is when we can experience grace, when light breaks into our darkness, as Tillich puts it, and as though a voice is saying, you are accepted. You are accepted by that which is greater than you. So that was the first area that I felt that there was an opportunity for grace to break in. Then the second one is where the separation isn't just between people and their purpose, but it's between people and themselves. Now, I'm aware that I am a divided person at some level, that I am selfish and selfless. I am generous and I am stingy. I am kind and I am mean. I am lazy and I am hardworking. And there's something within me that is separated or divided that as Paul says, I, I'm not who I want to be and I do stuff that I don't want to do. And he experiences that, that lack of wholeness within himself. But that feeling, it's not a barrier to grace. If anything, it's what we all experience and exactly where grace finds us. It says the landowner keeps going back to the marketplace. He keeps going back and he finds these people where they're at. And despite their separation with their purpose and despite their separation with themselves, again, to quote Tillich, in the light of this grace, we perceive the power of grace in relation to ourselves. Moments where we accept ourselves because we feel like we've been accepted by that which is greater than we. I'm not okay and you're not okay and that's okay. Then we can say that grace has come upon us when the self-hate and the self-contempt disappear and we are reunited with ourselves. May we know that for ourselves and the people around us. Grace that, that brings us something of our purpose and grace that says, you might feel separated and divided and you're not everything you want to be, but you know what? As you are, you are accepted by that which is greater than you. So there's two things for you and then there's one thing to give away. And the one to give away is the hardest, I think. Because if we read the end of the story, it's not a happy ending, really. The people who worked for five hours didn't deserve the denarii. They didn't deserve the wage they got. They were overpaid. They'd experienced grace. They got what they hadn't deserved. It was a gift. But even though they'd only worked for five hours, they still wanted to complain about those who worked for two and got the same amount of money. Because sometimes, even when we've experienced grace, we still want to rank ourselves. We still want to put others above us or below us in order to make ourselves feel better. There's still something in us that wants to say, I may be separated, but you're more separated than me. But the truth of grace is that we can't do that. That's not an option to us. We are united in our poverty. We are united at the foot of the cross. So give it away. Give grace away. 
Get rid of the divisions that tries to put others above and others below. You've experienced grace, so give it away. To quote Tillich again, we perceive the power of grace in relation to ourselves and to others, of being able to look frankly into the eyes of another, the miraculous grace of reunion of life with life. There's grace for you and there's grace to give away. Have fun as you chat about it. All the best. Bye.